Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So if you are aware of the blackout bingo challenge that I'm doing when I reached 700 subscribers, I did have to have twins, which I did. They are right here. So we have Charlene and Terrence. They just aged up into children. So now I'm gonna give them a little makeover. And you may be wondering, where's Bridget? Isn't she the main sim? Well, something happened last episode. And if you wanna go check that out, you probably should. But if you don't mind any spoilers, we had twins again. We had twins. So now we have Ezra and Walker. So that is just amazing for us. Um, so I decided, you know what? I'm breaking up with Travis. He's going to take all of the kids. And when Bridget has her life together and when she finishes university, these two children, Charlene and Terrence, will move back. And Travis is going to keep the newborns because I can't. She literally got pregnant on Risky Woohoo Percent 1. Not to mention, there's just so much and you really need to watch the episode. Anyways, here we are giving this girl a beautiful little makeover. Um, She does have her father's hair unfortunately, so it's cheese hair. Maybe we can give her a fun hairstyle. This is very cute actually, Um, but I think I want to get a hairstyle that has a bow in it. So these are blue. We have this hair with the red gem in it. I don't know about the red. I do have some CC hair, which honestly these are beautiful. Oh, Oh, this hair is cute. Actually, I'm gonna use this one. That is gorgeous. I think I might randomize her likes. So she hates knitting and video gaming, but she likes the color pink, but hates the color purple. She hates discussing hobbies. She likes cerebral sims. She likes spooky music and hates cottage core music. So she likes the color pink. So I will try to give her pink outfits mainly. Ooh, this is beautiful. The elephant, I might go with that. Actually, I'm very unsure. I'm thinking we'll go with this top. And since the headband is black, maybe I'll give her black pants just so that way everything matches and goes together. I think that's cute. And then maybe we can find some pink shoes. Honestly, I think the pink ones are cute. So this is her first outfit. Very beautiful. And then I might go with this CC top because I feel like all these other options I just don't really like for formal wear. And then we could go for like a black skirt to match the headband again. Okay, so this is her formal wear. Pretty simple. I feel like dressing up kids doesn't really take much. I mean, I guess they just have fewer options, I guess. I'll do this rainbow top and maybe these jean shorts, black shoes, and maybe we can find like a colorful sock. Oh, like that. That's cute. And then I'll give her like a little bracelet. Honestly, I think she's very beautiful. Her cheese hair is kind of growing on me. Why do I feel like I've never seen this top before? I know we probably had it. I know we did. We probably had this top before, but I'm just realizing it. Well, this underwear fits the pajamas. Do children walk around in their underwear? I mean, at home, obviously, it's probably fine, but I don't think I ever... Now we're working on her party wear. I did put sneakers on her, which I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like the sneakers. They definitely don't fit for this occasion, but I mean, she's probably not gonna end up being at a party. And then for her swimwear, I might just give her this. It's pretty simple. Ooh, this top is really beautiful from Horse Ranch. And then maybe I can just give her a skirt. I don't really know. I mean, shorts are probably fine. So maybe I'll give her the white shorts or the pink shorts. I'm too indecisive. I'll just stick with the skirt. And then I'll give her maybe these shoes. And for some reason, like the friendship bracelet, or not the friendship bracelet, but the charm bracelet, it doesn't show up for like the other categories. Like it, I think it only shows up for everyday wear, but not the other wear for some reason. I guess it shows up for party wear, which is fun. Why can't I wear it for hot weather wear? Why can't I wear it for cold weather wear? I don't think that makes any sense. This game can be very silly. Ooh, that is fun. This is fun. Ooh, maybe I'll give her these pants with the hearts. That's adorable. I think this is her winter wear. She is adorable. I'm gonna see if I can give her like a hat. I think I'll give her this one. Actually, maybe I can give her braces. Like, that's fun. And then for Terrence. And he's a child of the ocean and he is an artistic prodigy. I didn't even look at her trait. Oh, she's a slob and a social butterfly. So she's cute, but she is dirty. Or messy. I, I don't want to say dirty, but like messy. What hair could I give him? Ooh, I love the braids. Honestly, like, did I change her? I think I changed her eyebrow color. So I'm going to do the same for him. Him because I just don't think this looks good being the cheese hair color. That is just my opinion. I do like the braids though. 
I think I might keep the braids and I'm gonna just randomize his dislikes and likes. So he likes fishing and photography, he hates the piano, and he doesn't like any color. How about we just re-roll because it seems like he hates everything. He still doesn't like a color. Okay. Okay, finally. So he likes the violin. He dislikes the black, but he loves the color brown. That's so unhelpful. I'm gonna say he likes the color blue just because he's a mermaid and he's a child of the ocean. <laughs> um, he dislikes malicious interactions. Makes sense. He he likes homebody sims and rascals but he hates high energy sims and optimistic sims oh and he likes cottagecore music pop music but dislikes metal music okay we can work with that we can work with that oh i didn't notice we had a shirt like this maybe i'll give him this shirt oh maybe he can wear these pants with the smiley faces i love that and then i'll give him like some white sneakers oh he's wearing glasses that's interesting maybe you don't need glasses i don't know about the glasses for his formal wear i'll probably just give him a suit and i guess this will be fine now we're working on his active layer so i'll give him maybe some white shorts and blue shoes oh his hair did not change why 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 okay that is better and i think i might give him a watch as well then for his sleep wear maybe he can wear this blue shirt Ooh, bunny slippers that's fun maybe this is his sleep wear i think this will be good for his party wear i'll give him like blue sandals i'm not sure about the top anymore i mean this is from island living i just don't know about it being open but i guess it's fine and then i'll give him this for his swimwear and i guess there's not many island living shirts for kids because this is the only one i already used that though i guess this can be his hot weather wear i guess if he's hot maybe he wouldn't wear something that's like doubled layered maybe this one is fine and then for his cold weather wear maybe i'll do this cute little sweater with these pants pants and i guess maybe these boots or i guess i can wear these oh no maybe i'll use the shark shoes maybe that is fun and then for his beanie we could go with this gray one and that is all of his outfits so just to review this is charlene and her beautiful outfits so she likes the color pink that is what we were going for and then this is her brother terrence and he is into art he's a child of the ocean and he likes the color blue and that is all we know about him so that was fun but we're not only going to give them a makeover we're going to give their bedroom a makeover as well okay so these are their bedrooms right now so him liking the color blue and her liking the color pink is pretty good because these rooms are pretty much their color already but i think i want to start over this was their toddler bedroom like i didn't change anything but put a double bed in here and we're going to start in her room first so so I guess we can keep the butterfly painting because this is cute. So maybe we can go with this like kind of princessy bed. Ooh, and we can probably use that. That's cute. Okay, so I got the matching side table to go with this bed. And then maybe we can upgrade their floor to be wood instead of this carpet. I think that would help me a lot. What if the bed went over here and we could have like a very pretty curtain to go behind it? This is pretty good. I think I might go with this curtain. I know her favorite color is pink, but does that really mean we have to go for that color? Because sometimes you don't find things that you like in a certain color. So sometimes it just depends on the shade. I mean, that is an option. And then we could use the rug from high school years. I will say this is kind of just giving teenager vibes instead of like child vibe, which I'm fine with because honestly, this is supposed to be like a short challenge. So like they're just side characters. They're not really important, to be honest with you. I know that's awful to say but it's the truth so maybe we can go with this rug so we definitely need to change the wallpaper because it is not helping us one bit maybe we don't have a nightstand i think that's fine you don't always need a nightstand and then maybe over here is their play area and then i could put like a desk right here maybe i'll give her this pink desk with a purple chair maybe this is the desk she does her homework on and then i'll give her these pencils and i guess i could use these books because they got new swatches on them which is very beautiful like, I think that's lovely. I might just use this one though, which is an old swatch, but it does fit what I'm going for. I honestly forgot what she does. Like, I don't even know what her aspiration is anymore. And that is a little bit embarrassing just because like, what do I put in this room? I probably won't work on their aspiration, but it's good to know. Actually, I do remember. She is a social butterfly and she's messy. I don't know if she likes a certain activity because I 
definitely forgot if she does have a favorite activity so that is very unfortunate but it's fine maybe i can give her a plant i don't know if that's necessary for a child but it's cute and then over here i could give her like blarfy to talk to who well, i can give her bun bun because it has more colors she will also need a mirror for her aspiration so i'll put the mirror by the door and then i'm just gonna get her an activity so i know the boy likes violin and that's probably all i know maybe i'll just give her a science table hopefully it doesn't catch on fire though that would be the worst thing ever this is a cute little room maybe i'll put those sketches on her wall like i don't know maybe i don't know who drew this for her but who knows it's cute so i'm gonna put it and then i guess i can just give her a few more toys so like maybe she can have the doctor play set i'll put that right here she can blow bubbles maybe i feel like i don't have my sims do that at all maybe i can give her like a sheep and a horse i'll give her a journal maybe i can get her the solar system project that will be fun for her and i think that's her room complete now we just have to do his room so he loves the violin and he's into art so i'm gonna put his desk over here and it does come in blue which is perfect and then i'll change his bed color to this one which is very nice as well i'm kind of hoping he can get through this maybe i'll stick it into the wall a little bit we have to give him his art table that is very important maybe i'll just put it in this wood swatch color and then i'll put his violin right next to it and and it would probably be nice if he had a mirror and I don't know maybe I should put the mirror over here because I don't think he needs to actually use it and since he's into space I will also give him the solar system project I think that will be fun there's also a solar system light yes this is what you unlock from the scientist career but I think that's cute for him to have and then I can give him like some star lights like this is cute right and since he does art I'll probably put his drawings up on this one wall but i guess i can add some things right now like some of those base game chalk thingies so like i can put like a unicorn i can put like a ghost you know what i realized i did not even change her wallpaper but honestly i like it but for his wallpaper i feel like i don't know i want to change it like what if it's a brighter blue maybe yeah that's too much we can give him this one because like it kind of gives off space vibes as well and in this corner maybe i can put like a dresser since he doesn't have one Ooh, I can give him like a little hanging plant. Maybe this one is just a little too much. I'll get the other one from Paranormal. Um, and then we need something on that wall. Oh, actually, something from Parenthood. There's this kid art thingy I think we should get, and it comes in a space theme. So that is even better. And then, of course, I'll just get him like some toys. Maybe I'll place the toys on the ground. On the desk, we can put like some sticky notes. And I think that's his room. So this was a pretty simple video, I guess, because it didn't take long for us to do these two room renovations so i guess i can leave the video off here if you want to check out my blackout bingo challenge i will leave the playlist down below and i also believe i did post the bingo card in my community post but i can link that down below because i'm pretty sure it's been some time but yeah let me know which room you like more do you like the boys room or do you like the girls room i like both of them hers is obviously bigger but honestly his being smaller I think that kind of made it more easier for me to like build with I guess because it's not like so gigantic I don't know what to do with it right so I guess I can upload these rooms to the gallery of course I don't even know why I didn't think of that is it weird if I just call it like a girl's bedroom because it was for a girl I just don't know what to name it and I will do the same for this bedroom as well except it's called space bedroom because this one had more of a theme whereas the other one was just like pink and this one is also posted to the gallery so if you want to download them my gallery id is just sims delicious if you enjoy this video please like comment and subscribe i love you you are important and i will see you guys soon bye